switch gears now. We're learning more tonight about a crash that killed a 14 year old girl early Sunday morning. It happened on I-794 at Pennsylvania Avenue and investigators say reckless driving is to blame. But neighbors are telling us that it appears to be a combination of reckless driving and a dangerous bend in the road that proved to be deadly. Ryan Jenkins has this Project Drive Safer report. I spoke with that 14 year old girl's mom on the phone just a short time ago, and she's not quite ready to talk about the crash that killed her daughter at this curve here behind me. But she is sharing some new photos with us tonight. 14 year old Zamari Spadero, that's who the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office says was killed in a high speed crash early Sunday morning. There's an occupant stuck under the vehicle. Police say Spadero was one of four people in the car being driven by a 17 year old girl who they suspect was intoxicated. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says police first clocked this car going more than 110 miles per hour. This new video from the Wisconsin Department of Transportation shows the car speeding by southbound on 794. Moments later, a squad races by right before the vehicle rolled over and crashed down an embankment at Pennsylvania Avenue. The crash also injuring two other passengers. I heard a bang, like an explosion. Neighbor Jim Wojcikowski heard the crash and went to see what happened. And they got down there and I could just see the bottom of the car, you know, the wheels sticking up through the brush. He said crashes at this curve are not rare. In the past year, Wisconsin Community Map shows there have been at least three crashes in the area resulting in death or injury and several more causing property damage. Jim says he believes it's clear that this crash was caused by reckless driving, but he says there are some things that he and his neighbors think could make this bend in the road a bit safer. They need to put a great big guardrail around there to, to stop that. From engineering to enforcement, he says there are things that could be done to try and prevent future tragedies here. It's a very dangerous corner. They should maybe even be uh, you know signage up the road saying that. What wouldn't hurt either is to have a couple of sheriffs sitting around there once in a while. Would you, you think there should be more enforcement there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But at the end of the day, if what the law enforcement investigation is finding is true, tragedy may have been inevitable Sunday morning. If she wouldn't have got killed there, probably would have been further down the road somewhere. You know, when you're doing 110, my God. A deadly crash, perhaps the harshest penalty of reckless driving. In Cudahy, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.